Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So today I am going to be pleading with my audience to help me out with something if you are a resident of the state of Minnesota. What you see over here is S2744 and this is your standard right to repair bill over here. It is not, again, as inclusive as I would like it to be, but it is also not a complete uh, cluster screw like the one in New York was, which is, in my opinion, functionally useless. I have made a lot of attempts in the state of Minnesota, and I've been blocked in the past. And the reason is, as I explained in this three-year-old video, the chair of the Committee on Consumer Protection, the person responsible for protecting consumers in that state who was blocking this bill, owned car dealerships and didn't apparently like the idea of people being able to fix their own stuff. I, I, I crap you not. The person that's in charge of consumer protection is the guy who owns the car dealership. But yes, that is Bizarro World, and I went over that in this video, but that is gone. He is no longer the chair of that particular committee, and since he is gone, I am hopefully not taking L's anymore, as I announced last year that I was taking L's when I was trying to get this passed. So I rehired the lobbyist that I had last year, and we are actually making some good progress here. The problem is that you have a lot of trade organizations that are trying to water down the bill or get it destroyed, and I've gone over that in many videos how that happened in New York. This is a 40 minute video on how TechNet destroyed New York's right to repair bill. And here is a great article from Maddie Stone going over the very specific documents that goes over. Why is there a fucking pop-up when I'm not even talking about climate? Like, Jesus Christ, what is obnoxious websites these days. Anyway, it's a very good article in spite of the garbage website that is hosting it. Uh, but this is a very, very good article that goes over all of the ways in which TechNet destroyed this right to repair bill with very specific documents. And what I'm asking, pleading, and let's just be real, I'll be honest with you, begging all of you to do is help me ensure that this does not happen again in the state of Minnesota. I have given testimony against TechNet time and time again over the past four years, and I'll just be honest with all of you, they're winning. You can listen to their testimony here. I don't think it's pretty good. It sounds like garbage boilerplate crap that gets read off of a script. It's usually really, really bad stuff. But if there's not enough engagement from the local voter base, what they say tends to win. And what I'm really hoping for here is that they don't win again, because they, they're going to try, they're going to try, and they're going to try to do here what happened in New York, and I'm hoping that that doesn't happen again in Minnesota. Uh, this bill is not as inclusive as I would like it to be. I would have preferred that it included more stuff, but one of the approaches that I'm taking here is, you know, in some states we'll have an agricultural-only bill, medical-only over here, consumer electronics over here, because the attempt to just have a broad right to repair for everything has too much opposition, so we have been trying to decrease the amount of opposition on a particular bill by decreasing the scope of it. However, if this passes as is, while not a perfect bill, would actually be a right to repair bill for a number of different electronics, which is more than I can say for the garbage that passed in New York State. So if you live in Minnesota, if you could kindly contact your representative and your senator and tell them that you are for right to repair being passed in this session inside of SF2744 and that you do not want it to be watered down the way it was watered down in New York, I would be massively, massively in your debt. Thank you very much. And as always, I hope you learned something. I will include a link down below for those of you who are like, how do I contact my representative? I didn't know I had a senator. Uh, there'll be a link down below. You just put in your address and it makes it pretty much easy for you to automatically figure out who that person is and how to contact them. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.